Good morning and welcome back to the channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. Can you hear that? That is big old fatty fat rain on the car. It's stupid o'clock in the morning and I'm up early for my last early start of 2023. I do have a little bit more work and I am still going to be coaching, but none of the early starts because it's a slightly modified class schedule just due to the holiday season. Nobody's getting up super early. A lot of people are off. I've got a coffee. I'm ready to attack the day. We've got a big old to-do list to do today, to do, to, to do list to do today, to do anyway, to-do list that I want to get done before I see mum and dad tomorrow morning. Mum and dad arrive very late tonight. We're seeing them in the morning and I'm so excited. But yeah, I did want to get quite a few things done. I'm not stressed about it. I am a little bit overwhelmed because Tyna wrote out the list of the things we want to do. Some of it's just some cleaning bits. We definitely want to make sure that the apartment's super clean. We're hosting on Christmas Day. Uh, just in the morning, we're going out in the evening. Anyway, you'll see. I'll probably vlog it. Maybe? Will I vlog for Christmas Day? Probably not. Maybe I'll get some clips, but I don't think I'm going to actually vlog. Uh, but anyway, they arrive tomorrow, mum and dad, and then my brother and Sophie arrive on Sunday. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before. I'm sure that I have, but my sister's called Sophie and my brother's fiance is called Sophie. So I've got two Sophies in the close-knit fam. So sometimes when I'm saying Fraser and Sophie, I mean Fraser and his fiance. And sometimes when I say Fraser and Sophie, I mean my siblings. So uh, that is a bit confusing. But anyway, they arrive on Christmas Eve. And so everyone will be together Christmas Eve. They're staying with my sister and James across the street. So we're all very close together. And then mum and dad's Airbnb is also super close. So we obviously would all stay together if we could, but we all have one bedroom apartment. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. But when we go away, we're going away as a family, we've hired a house and we'll all be staying in the same house. So that's really exciting. Anyway, didn't mean for this to be a little bit of a ramble, but that rain is so relaxing. This is just me. Maybe I should just sit in the car, enjoy my coffee and just not coach this morning. However, it is a good workout. Anyway, I probably won't check back in until mid-morning because after this directly, I've got a call and then a meeting and then I will be free and I can start working my way through that to-do list. All right, I'm back here because I need to top up on these little treats when mum and dad get here. So first things first, quality streets. I know that you saw that in the last vlog, but I filmed that a few days ago and I've already gone and I might get some other little bits here. I also need some tinned tomatoes for later. So I'm gonna get a couple of these and then I need a bulb of garlic. These veggie plant-based sausage rolls really taste like the real thing. I'm not gonna get some today, but they're a great little appy to have. Uh, and yeah, tastes exactly like the ones that have made in them, in my opinion. I also wanted to get some more uh, Kodiak cakes. So last time I accidentally got the birthday cake flavor and actually really enjoyed it. But maybe I'll just get the regular one. What are those ones? Why are they different? Like those are power cakes and those are power cakes. Oh, buttermilk. Chocolate chip. Oh, let's get chocolate chip. And now for some garlic. Okay, I'm gonna make some breakfast and I've just got my bowl on my scales here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to triple this. So a quarter of a cup, 31 grams. I want three quarters of a cup, um, which will be 93, perfect. So this is the chocolate chip mix. So I put about 93 grams of this in here and that will give me approximately um, eight, 16, 18, yeah, I just have a slightly less. So it's about 20 grams of protein in here. Then I'm going to have one scoop of the Vega vanilla protein and a serving size is two scoops. So this is only gonna give me seven. So, so far this is 27 grams of protein. And then in order to make it rise, this is where I'm gonna add the baking powder. I'm just gonna add about half a teaspoon. And then I basically just mix in some water. I think I've made this before. But I get asked about this all the time. Whenever I post it on my Instagram, people always ask. So this is the magical concoction. And every day is slightly different. Obviously today I've got a chocolate chip one. Sometimes they're greasy outside of the bowl, but I forgot today. Um, so sometimes it can stick to the side of the bowl, which is a little bit annoying for the dishwasher, but doesn't really make a difference from a taste perspective. Did you see me? I need to feel like I need to watch this back to make sure I put in all the ingredients. But today, I'm gonna crumble up this Biscoff cookie. And then I've got some mini marshmallows that I'm also gonna add in there just to make it a little bit different. 
and here it is all resin. I just pressed the top to make sure that it was cooked because if it's still gooey and it's not kind of bouncy, then you know it's not cooked. So about one minute 20 with my microwave, but my microwave is not that powerful. So you might need less time. I'm just gonna add some Greek yogurt onto the top of this, which should add another at least 12 grams of protein. Okay, I've just finished my cores. I've just done one load of recycling. I have another two loads to go. It's just been one of those things we put off. And I'm also gonna now go to Dollarama to get the gift wrapping and the other little bits that we need. I've got a list somewhere, but I do need to consult the list because it's completely escaped my mind what else we need. All right, time to find some gift wrapping paper. I don't mind the Snowwell one. Maybe the snowflakes or oh, about the center on it. Okay, so far, so good. Good on the gift wrapping. Don't know how I ended up in this section. Don't need flowers, but I did see. Oh, actually, maybe this ribbon's better to get. No. I was looking just for, you know, your good old fashioned ribbon, but they're only really like this kind of texture. Hmm. Lots of gift bags. But yeah, over here, they've actually got some kind of little Christmas decor. I don't like buying bits I don't need or wouldn't keep for next Christmas. So I wonder if I could make, using our vase, if I could make a little bit of a an arrangement, but I think I'd rather use fresh greens. Uh, like the florist provides kind of, you know what I mean? I don't know if I want to buy this plastic. Okay, now I'm headed to go pick up some croissants. Now the place I get them from, you can't actually pre-order a bulk amount of croissants. You can with some of their pastries and some of their cakes. However, not their croissants or their pan au chocolat. And it's funny because I didn't even think about this because when I've last bought them before Christmas, I've only been buying for a small group. So Ty, Sophie and I, I, I don't even think James did croissant breakfast with us in 2021. So yeah, I've only had to buy six to kind of have two available each. They said you can only buy in groups of six, basically meaning that I sort of said, okay, well, if I can't pre-order, can I just come in and buy 20? And they said, no, but they said you can only buy a maximum of six. So it's operation, get as many as we can in separate trips. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. It's just they're really good croissants. So I'm going to pick up six today and put those ones in the freezer. I'll pick up probably six tomorrow and then another six on Sunday we need we do need 20 I think we really only need you know to kind of have two each one savory one sweet or you know and then just a few throw in extras so I guess we need about no we need 20 I think 20 is the is the key number for us uh so I think I'll send Sophie or James or Ty on separate trips Ty joked around that he's going to put on a bunch of different disguises and go and get like but like boxes of six anyway it's a whole thing. So I'm gonna go get the first six now. They are cleaned out. Look. All of the goodies. These are what we're after. First six are secured. On to the next task. Oh, lots of pigeons, gross. Okay, next stop is to find some winter greens. So these packs kind of look like they have these fronds and then the holly, which I just stabbed myself on. And look at the size of these pine cones, which are enormous. I think I might get one of these. I just don't know how big they are. Mm. I've been home for a while and I look a bit flushed because I've been cleaning, I've been picking up furniture, vacuuming underneath it, doing that deep clean. If you haven't tried these before, Easy Erasers, they're the knockoff of the Magic Eraser, which is just super expensive. They are so handy. You basically just soak them in water and they are so good for getting off stains off our tiles. We've got gray tiles, which can be a bit of a pain to clean. And then also all of our skirting boards. And just if you ever have a little mark on the wall or anything like that, this gets it out so simple. So I'm doing a lot of that deep cleaning, despite the fact that today is the 22nd. So you know, we're still obviously gonna be having a bit of a clean before Christmas day. But if I do the deep clean today, then I should only just need to do a little vacuum and a quick mop for Christmas day. Anyway, that is the goal right now. So I've just done a full big vacuum of the lounge and kind of kitchen space. I'll get to the hallway later, but now we're going in with the magic eraser.
I have officially wrapped all my presents. And that is another thing that I can tick off the to-do list. We are creaming through it. Okay, it is definitely hair wash day and this is super greasy. I think I'm gonna go to the gym, have a sauna, wash my hair there because they have Dyson hair dryers. I was gonna say hair washes, Dyson hair dryers. And it just dries my hair so much faster. I'm really just excited to relax in the sauna. I feel so stoked on everything that I've accomplished today. So that is a huge win. And then after that, I'm going to go back I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna to go to Sophie's and we're making soup. So uh, I, the tomato soup that I had, so I'm gonna share the recipe in the vlog, but actually the Vancouver Guardian asked me to share a recipe for their kind of holiday period issue. It's not for Christmas, it'll be just after Christmas. And I was trying to think of which recipe I should share. They said you could share your grandma's recipe, your mom's recipe, et cetera, et cetera. Something that is a go-to for you. And whilst this might not be a go-to, I immediately either thought of mum's lemon cake or Sophie's tomato soup. And it's just so delicious. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make it tonight. So I picked up some more. She's already got the ingredients because she was going to make it for some friends. But we're going to add to it. Got a bulb of garlic. Got this. She's already got the other ingredients. And then... I'm gonna take some photos. She's picked up some nice bread from Fife Bakery. And then, yeah, take some photos for the recipe. And we're gonna measure the ingredients as we go so that we have them. Because part of why I haven't shared the recipe is that Sophie, again, is a bit of an intuitive cook. She does have a recipe in mind, but this time she'll measure out the quantities as we go. So doing that, and then I guess I'm gonna come back and continue to kind of just clean I've got a couple of emails to send away and a couple of bits that I've just sort of put on the back burner, which is a bit silly, but I will get to them. I've put the croissants in the freezer. Yeah, we're just ticking things off. We're ticking things off. It feels like a productive day and I was feeling overwhelmed this morning. Definitely not now. I definitely feel ready for mum and dad to come. I'm very flush faced, but my hair is freshly washed and blow dried. So feeling good about that. I'm headed home and I'm basically just gonna go pick up the things that I'm taking to Sophie's to make soup and then go straight to Sophie's to make soup. We watched your vlog today and the name Got the roasted garlic here. And Sophie is sauteing some onions. I'm just writing down the method and we're getting all the ratios correct. Okay, and this is where we're at. A little bit of cracked now, pepper, the all the goods are in it. So at this point, it's just the fact that now it's going to cook for quite a long time. Yeah, okay. And that's what means all of the flavors amalgamate. And, and that's what we need to figure out how long you want they, we should say that that is. I think it's going to be at least half an hour for it to thicken down. And What are we going to do for the next half an hour? taking some photos for the recipe. I'm home now and Sophie gave us so much soup to take away. I just made myself a little pot of the decaf coffee. I'm obsessed with it at the moment. It's pitch black, but I actually have my dinner soup early, like 5 p.m. I've just had a couple more sort of slurps of this soup, if you will, just because it's so good. I have a couple of new moisturizers that I'm trying, just sample sizes. It's the only thing that I kind of play around with in my skincare routine. I use the same hyaluronic acid, the same niacinamide toner, and the same discoloration serum, and just keep it super same, same. I use good molecules. It's really affordable. But I have been trying different moisturizers. I have really dry skin, and I do feel it changes with the year, the time of year as well. So that means that I have different needs. And so I've been using this ultra rich cream from Skin Foods. I actually really like it. I probably will repurchase it again, but it's super sticky. So I enjoy wearing it during the day, but sometimes at night my hair sticks to my face. So I was kind of looking for a different night cream and maybe have this one as a day cream with sunscreen, etc. This came highly recommended, so I just got the sample. It's not sample size, I got the travel size of it. It's the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, and I kind of wear it as a thick night cream. I've only worn it, like, yesterday, and that's it. And then when I ordered it, this one came with my Sephora points, the Belief True 
the true cream aqua bomb so this is the only one i think this was 20 dollars or something and you still get a decent amount it's 28 grams so you still get a decent amount in here especially if you're only using it at night but i'm just unsure it feels thick it feels luxurious but you definitely need to try these products a lot you can see my skin is super sensitive at the moment and I don't know, sorry, that is definitely chocolate. My skin is aging. I've got lovely little crow's feet around my eyes and it's changing. And with that, I can't just chuck any old thing on my face, especially because of how sensitive my cheek area is. It just breaks out in these little spots. I actually purchased a moisturizer I wanted to try last week and it completely broke my skin out. So I had to return it. I have also just self tanned and put my sort of self tan kit on, if you will. I've been using, I actually have had it for a really long time, but I've just started reusing it again. I've been using the Bondi Sands Pure Tan, which is a clear foam, so it doesn't get on anything, which I really appreciate. And you don't have to shower it off, you know, instantly. And so you can't really see the color develop. That's the only thing you have to be good with your mitt so that you don't leave streaks and sometimes you might get the hands a little bit funny but for the most part it's so much better than having tan on your sheets i am going to enjoy my coffee uh decaf of course and i'm going to watch some gilmore girls might have a couple of quality street and just keep it super low-key thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all in my next